Hey, this is Jordan and this is Amazing Gray Sports and today I am going to be building a Thanksgiving charcuterie and cheese board. So let's just jump right into what I've got here. Okay, so we're going to start off with two crackers. I've just got your basic rectangular uh, cracker there, a fig and olive crisp from Trader Joe's. I got two persimmons that I'm going to slice up horizontally, some options for a pumpkin, honey, cornichon pickles, green olives, these golden berries, I've never tried them before but I'm excited to use them, possibly some dried orange slices, blackberries is the last fruit, then I'm going to add a sweet maple leaf cookie which you can find this season very easily. Thyme will be my decorative herb that I'll be using. I've got a Dorothy truffle cheese, which is delicious. And then you've got a Humboldt Fog Remix that I've never tried before. My favorite salami sechi and some Arcona almonds is gonna finally build this board on this plastic Target ladder that I found that's light, easy to use. You know, you, you're gonna have wear and tear and it's not gonna make a difference. So let's get building. So here, I am getting all of my items situated and prepared. I'm going to be keeping a lot in its organic shape. So this Humboldt fog is just placed right on there to see where I move it around. I got a small ramekin and added the olives and the cornichon pickles together. So now I'm opening up the uh, figs, which I did not mention and have out on accident. So I've got these golden figs, but I sliced up the persimmon horizontally, put down right down the whole cheese, the truffle cheese there. I wanted to leave it in its beautiful floral shape. Added a few of the maple cookies, moving things around, finding which ramekins work best. I used the honey, but I also had a honeycomb set aside from um, one that I broke off before. So here I am placing the last honeycomb I have just so it brings more texture to the platter as well as the ramekin. I did slice up my salami sechi and now I'm moving these crackers which are always difficult to put on the platter because if it's on the edge, they fall off. If it's in the center, they slide. So I kind of wait till I put everything else on to figure out where I can kind of force them to stay. So the blackberries start to go on there. The golden berries, I halved some and left some whole for people to grab. They're kind of sticky, which is interesting. They're very, they've got a bitter uh, citrusy flavor, but they're really yummy. So I ended up mixing walnuts along with their Marcona almonds, which I didn't mention as well. So now I'm adding in the place as a filler, the golden figs, which I sliced in half uh, vertically. And now I'm just trying to fill out where I can see where it needs a little bit of space. And I think I forgot my fig crackers, but here I am adding them. The fig and olive crackers to add some color and some more texture onto the board, which I think it really did help adding that. Now we have some darker hues to it. So final little, this, this is such an easy board. So the final stage is just adding some beautiful thyme, adding some greenery, some earthy tones to this board that's already just so magical. I loved this board so much and the cheeses and everything that went together was, it just tasted so amazing. So I really loved the bitterness as well as the sweetness of some of the fruits and the honeys and and the cheeses and the truffles were so earthy. So all the flavors were very earthy along with the color and hues. So here I am just kind of picking out some of the thyme from the honey because that didn't look cute at all. And voila. 